So welcome back to IGCSE ICT paper. We will be solving this ICT paper, which is 0417. Uh, we're going to work on paper two, which is 22. Uh, we're going to start with May, June 2023 with the document production, with the Word document files. So first of all, we're going to have this following files. So let's go and extract the file. So this is the file, right click and extract it into this folder. You're going to get it over here. So first thing I usually group by type and I make sure the extension is visible and the type file as well. It's going to be very helpful for screenshots. Um, okay, the next one is task one. So open the file, which is evidence files and make sure your name, center number and date number appear on every single page and then save it as this following name. So where's the evidence? Here is the evidence file. So add the name and title and so we're going to click double click on the header add the blank three columns let's add the name add the center number and add your candidate number after that uh, save it and better to save it it's not recommend it's not necessarily but it is recommended to save it as the word document file so it is better but still it's fine but the next option it is a must in this step it's fine but i prefer to save it in this way so save it ending with your candidate number okay let's move to the next point you need to uh, save all the screen captures in this evidence file okay task two documentation right now you are going to edit a document about virtual cycling the company uses a corporate house style for their documents. Paragraph must be created and applied as instructed. Use the suitable file to open this virtual file. So let's go and open our virtual file. And uh, next question is the page is set up to A4 landscape orientation 2.5 margins. Do not make any changes. Just let me have a look at this. And make sure you're not changing anything so margins 2.5 from all directions is it landscape supposed to be and it's supposed to be set to a4 paper correct uh three paragraph styles have been already created do not change any of them so let's have a look at them you can see those three have been created and save the document in working area with this name, V Cycling. So one thing is important here, make sure that you save it in that software file that we're using. So here it is a must, very important step that when you are going to save it with a new name, make sure you're saving it with the document X because any changes that are going to be applied or formatting, if it is RDF5, then it's not going to save it everything will be lost and you will just find it out in the last moment and it's going to waste your time. So make sure that it is Word document. Save it over here and click on OK. Okay, right now we're ready to carry on to the next point. Uh, make a screen capture for this file. So just go back here. We got this file. So take a screen capture for it. And make sure that the extension is appeared at least and and the type file at least one of this should be uh, visible and let's go and paste it in the first step that's our first evidence I prefer to be with the white theme so at the time you're printing out it is much clearer so I think I should change it to the white theme for the sake of creating I also make sure your word document in the white theme uh, black theme is going to give you trouble later at the printing time or sometimes you have to apply a black background it's going to give you a lot of issues so keep it simple and plain with the back with a white background question number two place the header of recycling document in the text report by so place the header of the recycling document of the text report by followed by space your needs okay so in this one we have to go and replace report by followed so that's need to be applied in the header and it needs to be right aligned 
not this one, this one, double click, add the three blank columns. I prefer adding them and type here, report by, again put your name, center number, and candidate number. You may remove these if it is not needed. After that, place in the footer, uh, automated page number, which is supposed to be also right aligned. So again, in the page number, I just can add to the bottom to be right aligned here, this one. Okay, next point is make sure that all the alignments matches. Placeholder uh, also are okay with the header and footer. Header, footer are displayed on all the pages. This we're going to handle it later. Okay, everything is perfect so far. So select the subheading benefits and the following text up to the including paragraph ending to this one. So let me check where's the benefit. All right, it starts from here. So we need to highlight starting from here till being developed continuously. Where is being developed continuously? Okay over here. So we need to start highlighting from here till the point that I mentioned about it over here and then what we need to do we need to change the page layout so that this text is displayed in two columns so we need to make it into two columns whatever we selected right now of equal width and there is a spacing between them of two centimeter so just go to layout select two columns and then to, ch to check this is spacing in between them just about click in between here and make sure that it is two centimeter okay question number four create and store the following style and make sure that it is based on the normal or default paragraph so let's go to the home click over this one and you may click over this one and let's start to create our new style. So VC subhead is the name. And then make sure the type always selected as paragraph. And the last option is always based on normal. Those are important points. You need always to remember them. Paragraph and the last one normal. This one you just can leave it as it is. Uh, Oh, sorry, that's the opposite. That's supposed to be based on normal. Yes, and that's supposed to be your main subtitle. So those two points are supposed to be paragraph and this based on the normal. And then let's apply. This is supposed to be serif. So Arial is sans serif. We need some decorated font, which is Times New Roman. We have 16. So just select or type 16 and then center alignment. Bold and italic, single, okay, for the rest of the points, we need to go to format, paragraph, and choose single, and space is supposed to be 0 and 8, so that's 0, and that's 8 points, then save it, click on OK. Uh, my mistake is that while I'm making the style, I have been selecting those uh, over this so I have to remove it back again as it was before so make sure at the time you're creating the style so I'm going to get it back again and then I'm going to check I checked that previously it was the same style as this one so I'm just going to apply same style like it was Arial 11 so I'm going to make it back again to Arial 11 okay perfect if you're not sure you can go to the main file and check it but I'm sure of it let's go to the next point take a screenshot to show that you have defined the settings for the VC subhead so we need to go to this one, right click and click on modify and we need to take the screen capture for this one and we need to place it in
that makes evidence which is step four yes okay question number five identify the four subheadings in the document and apply the vc subhead style to each of them so i can find one two three i'm holding control and selecting them and that's four yes and we need to apply vc subhead and click on vc subhead next point is locate and move the paragraph which is called cycling till the point of event so cycling is an excellent i just can okay this paragraph till this point okay the whole paragraph we need to locate it to somewhere else so that it appears as a new paragraph immediately after the subheading benefits okay got it so control x or just cut it and then place it over here after the benefits of subheading benefits okay so just over here as you can see i put the cursor here and i paste it control v Okay, question number seven, import this image cyclist JPG file and place it in the paragraph beginning of cheating has become. So let me check where is this paragraph. This one is this paragraph and we need to, oops, where is it? Okay, here before the equipment. Okay, this one. And uh, we need to image, place it in the beginning and we need to rotate okay first let's put the image this is the right image okay rotate it 180 degree okay so go to rotate so I'm going to rotate it two times by uh, clicking 90 degree two times. So that's one time. And make sure you're selecting the same one. If you rotate it right, so two times or left two times. Okay, that's 180 degree. And then format the image so that it is resized to four centimeter maintaining the aspect ratio. The width supposed to be four. So over here, just type four centimeter. And it is aligned to the right column, to the top of the paragraph, starting of this cheating paragraph, and the text wraps the image. So just go and select square, and you can see that it is uh, to the left and top of the paragraph. Locate the table in the document, format the first row so that it looks like this. So first let's go and look where's our document, our table. Over here is the table, so we need to format it to look the first row to look like this one. So just click on the first row, go to the layout, table design, and try to select the same color. I think that's quite close. What about other points? This is two lines over here. Quite close, I guess. Okay, so sort the data in the table from Asia to the rest of the world. Sort the data in the table from Asia Pacific to the rest of the world. Asia Pacific, sort it. Okay, oh, I see. Sorry, I didn't read the rest of the question. So into ascending, into descending order of download growth based on the download growth column. This one, I need to make it into descending order. So descending will start with largest value. Okay, uh, let's see how I can do sorting. We can go to sort. Or it is over here, I didn't see it. So we can select the, I have to select only this. So it will appear as the header, which is the header is the column three. And then we need to make it descending. Perfect. Okay. Did I, yeah, that thing got, uh, okay. 
So this without the header, sort it out. So it's going to be golem three, descending, and that will work right now. Yes, starting from the largest value till the lowest value. 12, insert a new row as the last row in the table and enter the following details. So go back here, right click, insert a row below. So that's going to be America, 7% and 19%. Daily usage is 7%. And download code is 19%. Great values. Let's apply the same formatting. And then apply the VC style to the rows from 2 to 8 only. So that's one, then two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and we need to apply the VC table to it. Still, this is wrong, so let me make sure. Okay, because I had to add it separately, so. Okay, perfect. And then make sure that the each row displayed on one line this is not on one line, so I need to make it into one line. Okay, let me do it. And the table and borders all fit in within the width of that column. And there is an eight point space. So first of all, let me click here and go to auto fit and fix it with the column width. Let me first fix it with the content. That's better. And fix it with the column width or and I think that's okay, that's okay, I just need a bit more space. We can use the space that given to us. Okay, that's better. And then eight point at the, after the table. So you can just press enter over here, put eight points, but there is an extra space after eight points. It's from the spacing over here, so remove the spacing, make it zero. That will be exact eight points. 14, spelling, uh, spell check and proofread the document and make sure that there are two columns, no widows or orphans, no blank pages, original style is maintained, consistent uh, styles are applied to every page and the spacing is consistent between all the items. Save it with the same name and then print it out. So. Let's check all those points, no widows and orphans, I do not like this point, so we better make sure of it. Okay, it's better right now of, to maintain or to remove any suspicious about widows and orphans, we better keep the title followed with the uh, paragraph. Uh, there is one point here, which is giving me an issue, which is this one. This is not okay as well. So what we can do, let me see. Okay, let me highlight overall, right click on the paragraph. And over here you can see uh, in the second tab, there is a wait on orphan control. This by default is supposed to be activated. That's much better. For the spelling check as well, you need to go to the review and click on uh, spelling check. This seems okay. Ignore it and that's all. Okay, no spelling or any other issues. Um, there is, I think, one thing I need to make sure of it. The image. The image seems I placed it. Yeah, it is wrong. It's supposed to be to the top right of that paragraph so I need to move it just to align it with okay that's just fine that's it save it and then finally just print your document that's all for this one if you have any questions you may put it in the comment section see you on the next page